Nowadays, it is extremely difficult to imagine one's life without series. After all, this is the kind of art that can give the viewer unforgettable emotions that can bring a smile, laughter, or even tears. And lately, the cinematographers have started to show really worthwhile things that can interest the viewer. Series are getting better and better year after year. And every viewer knows what intrigue is by the end of an episode or season. Sometimes you don't even know what to be more surprised about, the storyline or the frame. No wonder that series like this are considered by many to be a truly unique phenomenon in today's world. The upcoming premiere has a high expectation rating, and the creators have already announced the exact date of the release of the new episode. The show of the episode should be expected on January 7th. Even before its release, the series has gathered unprecedented excitement around itself, even more winning the attention and interest of the viewer. The audience builds possible options for the development of storylines, but so far it is only a guess. Stock up on popcorn and look forward to the premiere. The lingering hours until the premiere can be filled by watching other amazing series. But choosing a series to watch is not an easy thing to do. But don't despair, just follow our recommendations. Once Upon a Time is an American fantasy adventure drama television series that aired for seven seasons on ABC from October 23, 2011 to May 18, 2018. The action alternates between two main settings, a fantastical world where fairy tales happen, and a fictional seaside town in Maine called Storybrooke. The real-world part of the story unfolds with the characters of Emma Swan and her 10-year-old son, Henry Mills. Henry discovers the other people of the town are fairy tale characters. The audience is shown the backstory of the town's people as fairy tale characters, in conjunction with their unfolding stories in the real world. Most of the show's characters are extracted from famous fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen, popular Western literature, folklore, Arthurian legend, and Greek mythology, as well as original Disney characters from the Walt Disney Company. The core themes of the show are hope and optimism. For the first six seasons, the series is set in the fictional seaside town of Storybrook, Maine, in which the residents are actually fairy tale characters that were transported to the real world town and robbed of their memories. Adam Horowitz and Edward Kitsis conceived the show in 2004 before joining the writing staff of Lost, but wanted to wait until that series was over to focus on this project. Eight years before the Once Upon a Time pilot, Kitsis and Horowitz became inspired to write fairy tales out of a love of mystery and excitement of exploring lots of different worlds. They presented the premise to networks, but were refused because of its fantastic nature. From their time on Lost, the writers learned to look at the story in a different way, namely that character has to trump mythology. Black Mirror is a British anthology television series created by Charlie Brooker. Individual episodes explore a diversity of genres, but most are set in near-future dystopias utilizing a science fiction technology, a type of speculative fiction. The series is based on the Twilight Zone and uses technology to comment on contemporary social issues. As Black Mirror is an anthology series, each episode is standalone and can be watched in any order. The majority of episodes are set in dystopian near-futures with novel technologies that exaggerate a trait from contemporary culture, often the internet. Black Mirror can be seen to demonstrate a negative view of unending pursuit of scientific and technological advancement. The majority of episodes end unhappily. However, characters who carefully consider the risks of technology with which they engage are met with happy endings. The first episode received mostly positive critical reviews. Most reviewers found the episode plausible. Sims commented that every twist seems organic and every decision rational, leading the audience to overlook the insanity of the premise or any minor plot hole. The acting received a positive critical reception. Airing on December 4, 2011, the episode garnered 2.07 million viewers, according to seven-day figures from the broadcaster's audience research board. It was nominated for Best Single Drama at the 2013 Broadcast Awards. Charmed is an American fantasy drama television series. The series' narrative follows a trio of sisters, known as the Charmed Ones, the most powerful good witches of all time, 
who use their combined power of three to protect innocent lives from evil beings such as demons and warlocks. Each sister possesses unique magical powers that grow and evolve, while they attempt to maintain normal lives in modern-day San Francisco. Keeping their supernatural identities separate and secret from their ordinary lives often becomes a challenge for them, with the exposure of magic having far-reaching consequences on their various relationships and resulting in a number of police and FBI investigations throughout the series. The series starts in 1998 when Phoebe Halliwell returns from New York and moves back into the family's Halliwell Manor in San Francisco to live with her sisters Prue and Piper. When Phoebe discovers the family's Book of Shadows in the attic, she learns that she and her sisters are the most powerful witches ever known, destined to protect both innocents and the world at large from demons, warlocks, and other evil creatures. Phoebe, reasonably suspecting the book to be a novelty, reads its initial inscription, unaware that it also happens to be an incantation activating the sisters' supernatural powers once all three are reunited in their ancestral home. By the end of the first episode, each sister learns that she has a unique magical power that allows them to cast spells and brew potions. Prue, the eldest, has the power of telekinesis, and in season 2 she develops the power of astral projection. Piper, the middle sister, has the power of molecular immobilization. As she grows more proficient, she learns how to freeze only certain people or objects or body parts, as she wishes. Establishment, Osman is a Turkish historical drama television series. It is a sequel to the popular multi-episode show Risen Ertegrel, which gained fans around the world and was one of the highest rated shows in Turkey. The actors of the series underwent special training for nine months. They learned how to ride a horse, wield a sword, practice swordplay, shoot an arrow, and learn martial choreography. Their military training took place in mountainous and forested areas, where they built their fortifications, sought water and prepared food. Audiences loved the beautiful sets, which look authentic, and the detailed costumes, which give a fairly accurate representation of the historical era. The story of the founder of the state, who became part of national legends, cannot turn out neutral. It will be fiery and memorable. For Turkish viewers there is nothing unnatural about this. But for those who watched the series in other countries it may seem a bit strange. The series is focuses on the life of Osman, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. The TV show includes Osman Ghazi's internal and external struggles and how he establishes and controls the Ottoman Empire. It portrays his struggles against Byzantium and the Mongol Ilkhanate and how he was able to secure independence from the Sultanate of Rum to establish a sovereign state that would stand up to the Byzantine and Mongol empires and would honor the Turks. The character of Osman faces many enemies and traitors in his quest and the show illustrates how he was able to overcome these obstacles and fulfill his mission with the help of his loyal companions, family, and friends. Magnificent Century is a Turkish historical fiction television series. It is based on the life of Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, the longest reigning sultan of the Ottoman Empire, and his wife Hurm Sultan, a slave girl who became the first Ottoman Hasiki Sultan. It also shines the light on the era known as the Sultanate of Women. The show generated controversy and complaints from some viewers, for what they referred to as a disrespectful, indecent and hedonistic portrayal of the historical sultan. Turkey's radio and television Supreme Council, claimed they had received over 70,000 complaints about the show and warned Show TV to publicly apologize for wrongly exposing the privacy of a historical person. The Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan condemned the show as an effort to show our history in a negative light to the younger generations. An MP for the Governing Justice and Development Party, Oktay Saral, went further, threatening to outlaw the misrepresentation of historical figures. The series is popular in many countries around the world. In Greece, the series has become quite popular for people of all socio-economic backgrounds and ages. Many Greek viewers enjoyed the visuals and oriental decorations present in the show, as well as the cultural proximity and historical ties between the two countries. It has become so popular that Bishop Anthemos of Thessaloniki and the Golden Dawn Party condemned the show and urged Greeks not to watch it. In the Republic of North Macedonia, Turkish series have become so popular, that the Macedonian parliament has moved to ban Turkish soaps to reduce the Turkish impact on Macedonian society. Turkish series will gradually be removed and replaced by national programs, according to a 2012 bill.
House is an American medical drama television series. The series' main character is Dr. Gregory House, an unconventional, misanthropic medical genius who leads a team of diagnosticians at the fictional Princeton Plainsboro Teaching Hospital in New Jersey. The series' premise originated with Paul Atanasio, while David Shore, who is credited as creator, was primarily responsible for the conception of the title character. House often clashes with his fellow physicians, including his own diagnostic team, because many of his hypotheses about patients' illnesses are based on subtle or controversial insights. His flouting of hospital rules and procedures frequently leads him into conflict with his boss, hospital administrator and dean of medicine Dr. Lisa Cuddy. House was among the top 10 series in the United States from its second season through the fourth season. Distributed to 66 countries, House was the most-watched television program in the world in 2008. The show received numerous awards, including five Primetime Emmy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, a Peabody Award, and nine People's Choice Awards. On 2012 Fox announced that the eighth season, then in progress, would be its last. The series is structured around a central plot with some supporting secondary stories and narratives that cross over seasons. Most episodes revolve around the diagnosis of a primary patient and start with a cold open set outside the hospital, showing events ending with the onset of the patient's symptoms. The typical episode follows the team in their attempts to diagnose and treat the patient's illness, which often fail until the patient's condition is critical. They usually treat only patients whom other doctors have not accurately diagnosed, and House routinely rejects cases he does not find interesting. The Office is an American sitcom television series. Based on the 2001-2003 BBC series of the same name created by Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant, it was adapted for American television by Greg Daniels. The Office was met with mixed reviews during its short first season, but the following seasons, particularly those featuring Carell, received significant acclaim from television critics as the show's characters, content, structure, and tone diverged considerably from the British version. This season introduced the main characters, and established the general plot, which revolves around Michael Scott, regional manager of the Scranton branch office, trying to convince the filmmakers of the documentary that he presides over a happy, well-running office. Meanwhile, sales rep Jim Halpert finds methods to undermine his cubemate, Dwight Schrute, receptionist Pam Beasley tries to deal with Michael's insensitivities and flubs, and temporary employee Ryan Howard is acting mostly as an observer of the insanity around him. The first episode received largely mixed reviews from critics. After the first episodes, critics thought The Office would be another failed remake of a British comedy. Despite these criticisms, the remainder of the season earned mostly positive reviews among critics. The filming process is organized in such a way that the series took the form of a kind of reality show. Most of the dialogues in which are built on improvisation, and the actors do not know where the camera is at the moment. The first season was filmed in a real office. During the second season, NBC moved filming to a special studio that replicated the setting of the first season, including plaques and testimonials hanging on the walls. A detailed script was written for each episode of the series, but the actors were always given the opportunity to improvise. In early episodes, the camera crews were limited primarily to office space, but as the show expanded, the characters' personal lives were included, and the cameras took on the ubiquitous, even haunting function of making a character's entire life available to the viewer. Cameras begin to accompany the heroes from the office and to their homes. How I Met Your Mother is an American sitcom. Created by Craig Thomas and Carter Bays for CBS. The series, which aired from 2005 to 2014, follows the main character, Ted Mosby, and his group of friends in New York City's Manhattan. The series was loosely inspired by Thomas and Bay's friendship when they both lived in New York. The vast majority of episodes were directed by Pamela Fryman, who directed 196 episodes out of 208. Known for its unique structure, humor, and incorporation of dramatic elements, How I Met Your Mother was popular throughout its run. It initially received positive reviews upon release, but reception became more mixed as the seasons went on. The show was nominated for 91 awards and received 21. In 2010, Alison Hannigan won the People's Choice Award for Favorite TV Comedy Actress. In 2012, seven years after its premiere, the series won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Network TV Comedy, 
and Neil Patrick Harris won the award for Favorite TV Comedy Actor twice. The series follows the adventures of Ted Mosby, played by Josh Radner, and his love life as a single man. His stories are narrated by Bob Saget as Ted Mosby 25 years later as he tells them to his adolescent children. The plot of the first episodes of the first season was very interesting. After his best friend Marshall proposes to his long-term girlfriend, Lily, Ted solicits help from his friend Barney to find the one for his life. He manages to get a date with Robin, a girl he met at his usual neighborhood bar, but threatens to scare Robin away when he accidentally reveals his love for her on the very first date. Meanwhile, Marshall accidentally hits Lily in the eye with the champagne stopper after they get engaged, forcing her to wear an eye patch. In an attempt to repair his situation with Robin, Ted instead pursues a casual relationship with her by inviting her to a series of parties. Marshall tries to write an important 25-page law paper, but Ted's parties and Lily's post-engagement desire distracts him. Meanwhile, Barney tries to end a relationship he unknowingly started. Ted agrees to let Barney disrupt his routine by taking an impromptu trip to the airport with him that eventually leads the duo to Philadelphia and trouble with airport security. Meanwhile, Lily and Robin go out for drinks, but Lily becomes jealous when she is not as successful with men as Robin is, for which she blames her engagement ring. Marshall travels between both situations in an attempt to rectify the group's problems. Prison Break is an American serial drama television series created by Paul Schering for Fox. The series revolves around two brothers, Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Burroughs has been sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit, and Schofield devises an elaborate plan to help his brother escape prison and clear his name. The series was originally turned down by Fox in 2003, which was concerned about the long-term prospects of such a series. Following the popularity of serialized primetime television series Lost in 24, Fox decided to back production in 2004. The first season received mostly positive reviews from critics with universal acclaim from audiences. Prison Break was nominated for several industry awards, including the 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series Drama and the 2006 People's Choice Award for Favorite New TV Drama, which it won. The first season of Prison Break, an American serial drama television series, commenced airing in the United States and Canada on August 2005. A total of 10 actors received star billing in the first season, with numerous supporting roles. Filming took place mostly in and around the Chicago area, Fox River was represented by Joliet Prison, which had closed in 2002. Critical reviews of the first season were generally favorable. The first episode was just great. Michael Schofield gets imprisoned in Fox River State Penitentiary as part of an elaborate plan to break out his brother, Lincoln Burroughs. Scenes set in Lincoln's cell, the infirmary, and the prison yard were all shot on location at the prison. Lincoln's cell is the same one in which John Wayne Gacy was incarcerated. Most of the production crew refused to enter the cell, thinking that it was haunted. 23, other sets were built at the prison, including the cell blocks that housed the general prison population. These blocks had three tiers of cells, as opposed to the real cell blocks too, and had cells much larger than real cells to allow more space for the actors and cameras. The two-hour pilot episode garnered approximately 10.5 million viewers. The Tenth Kingdom is an American fairy tale fantasy miniseries written by Simon Moore. It depicts the adventures of a young woman and her father after they are transported from New York City, through a magical mirror, into a parallel world of fairy tales. From the first episode the series has won the hearts of millions of people around the world. In a hidden realm, fairy tale characters inhabit nine magical kingdoms where an evil queen plots to rule them. She is held in a fourth kingdom prison. This kingdom is under the rule of Prince Wendell, the spoiled, arrogant grandson of Snow White. Weeks before his coronation ceremony, the queen enlists the help of the brutal troll king and his three children to release her right before the prince makes his annual visit to the prison. Prince Wendell is captured by the evil queen, who is his wicked stepmother. She turns him into a golden retriever while her very own retriever is transformed into a facsimile of Wendell. In a panic, the transformed prince flees through the prison, stumbles across a mirror portal in the basement, and is transported to New York City. The Troll King orders his bumbling children Burley, Blabberwort, and Bluebell to bring back the escaped prince while the queen releases a half-wolf prisoner to retrieve him instead. Meanwhile, regular Manhattan inhabitants, 
Headstrong waitress Virginia Lewis and her oafish father Tony are entangled in the mishaps caused by the new magical arrivals to the city, including Wolf falling helplessly in love with Virginia and Tony being given six wishes, which he foolishly uses for personal gain, upon which they have a tendency to backfire. The Big Bang Theory is an American television sitcom created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady. It premiered on September 2007, and concluded on May 2019, having broadcast 279 episodes over 12 seasons. The show originally centered on five characters living in Pasadena, California. Over time, supporting characters were promoted to starring roles. The main characters of the series are young physicists Leonard Hofstadter and Sheldon Cooper, typical representatives of geek culture. They are fond of comics, fantasy series, board and computer games, paintball and attending various fan meetings. These hobbies are shared with them by aerospace engineer Howard Woolowitz and astrophysicist Rajesh Kuthrapoli. All four friends are closely related to science and work at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California. However, the life of the guys changes dramatically when an aspiring actress and waitress Penny settles on the same landing with Sheldon and Leonard. Although the initial reception was mixed, the show went on to receive a more positive reception. The show's pilot episode premiered on September 2007. This was the second pilot produced for the show. A different pilot was produced for the 2006 television season but never aired. The structure of the original unaired pilot was different from the series' current form. The only main characters retained in both pilots were Leonard and Sheldon, who are named after Sheldon Leonard, a longtime figure in episodic television as producer, director, and actor. In the first seasons, the main characters faced the problem of socialization more than others. That's what the main jokes were based on. This is what attracted the viewer in this series, because it was fun for everyone to watch how the characters are trying to find a soulmate and make new acquaintances.